our skill set is actually being uh, enhanced, which is actually giving rise to the artificial intelligence. One of the themes uh, that at least to me stood out here was on the whole topic of Let's call, we can call it digitalization, we can call it automation, we can call it automated technologies. Uh, basically have a, let's call it relatively simple question. It's all well and fine that we talk about automated trucks, for example, or we could also talk about automated vessels, automated airplanes. Realistically, do we have the technology ready to go or what is the time frame? And the second question to that is, does the industry have the right people? Because one thing is we had a lot of people that we were capable of sending back home. But if we're looking into a future which is highly automated, relies on different kind of technologies, different business processes, do we actually have the right people or do we need to change something there? You asked whether we have the technology today. Rightfully, as Joe said, yes, we do have the technology today. Do we have the skill set? Yes, we do have a skill set. But our skill set is actually being uh, enhanced. The advancement in the data analytics, which is actually giving rise to the artificial intelligence. So a lot of the menial things are actually being taken over by that. Um, the autonomous um, trucks, we already know that it's on the road, and the 5G technology is actually going to help um, it uh, advance it. When is it going to be fully ready to roll, rock and roll? I think, I mean, by the time to, uh, the 6G uh, comes into the world uh, and into play around the 2030, I mean, that's where I, I see it actually uh, maturing, the uh, road technology. In terms of the air technology, yes. I mean, I would, uh, that there are lots of work going on. In fact, I, I myself, I'm involved in um, a, a commercial, uh, building a commercial uh, fully autonomous airplane. Uh, which probably would be uh, in uh, service by 2025. Now, just to bring in the sustainability here, I mean, is the sustainable um, aviation fuel going to be in full play by 2025? I reckon not. It's hydrogen which works, whether we are going to see it uh, being used, no. Not at the moment, but by 2035 to 2040, yes, it will. But there's a lot of work going on, there's a lot of research going on, and that is the beauty of what's happening right now. The development of the artificial intelligence and the development of the data scientists in creating data analytics is what is going to actually move us forward. And that's happening now. In terms of supply chain, the basic, the belt and base places, that would basically, the, the fundamentals will remain the same. But what it will do is, it will help us take some of the cumbersome processes out and actually make it a lot more efficient. So that's the way that I see it going forward.